In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be a light, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and God said, Let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. God called the vault sky, and God said, Let dry ground appear. God called the dry ground land, and the gathered waters he called seas. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God said, Let there be lights in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars to govern the day and the night, and to separate light from darkness. And God said, Let the water teem with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with which the water teems and that moves about in it, according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, and the wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth, the birds in the sky and the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. Thus, the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done.